Alrighty, Slackers, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator. A lot of you wanted me to start playing this game again because I guess you missed it and things. I better check to see. The truck's in pretty good condition. Pretty good. So, um, I don't even know. Oh, wait, new upgrades available. What have we got? What the hell is this? Bull bar. Wow. I've been thinking about buying one of these Scananias. So, where are our companies? We have... So we got a bunch of freaking trucks here. We got people driving in Mans, people driving in Renaults. And, of course, my top guys are cruising in the uh, Valiant F-16s. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit the road. I don't know where I left off last. That's the problem. Yo, we're going to go ahead and see where the frig we are. Where did I leave off? Is this a job center? Why, well, yes it is, I think. Okay, let's go to the front and grab a job, I guess. Okay, so this is a $14,000 job, and it takes me way the frig over there to diesel. And this one takes me over to Mets for $13,000. let us try this one here. Yeah, let's back her right in, friggin' eh? Start cutting, bud. All right, let's take this load of God knows what out of here. I wasn't paying attention, obviously, as you can tell. So, um, yeah. Okay, so we need to get on the road. And we need to head to, I don't know, I just need to follow this white car, I guess. Ugh, friggin' traffic, always dicking me over. Ooh, frig, it's about to turn green. Or does it get dinged with? I wasn't planning on cutting the lane and jumping into the other lane and running the red. Punch it, Chewy. Oh my god, I ran a red. And this is what's stupid about this game is, oh, well, never mind. I thought it was red. It's not anymore. But basically, if I would have jumped that red light in the other lane, I wouldn't have got a traffic violation. That's what's stupid about this game is the fact that you can do that. You can jump a red light 
and not get cocked over with a, with a traffic violation if you're in the wrong lane. But if you're in the right lane, then you get dicked over. So uh, I need to go straight. This is going to be one long ass haul, let me tell you. Ah, slow her down. Slow your roll, bud. I watched some people play this game and they just wrecked their rigs right out of the freaking lineup. Yeah, JP, I'm talking about you, bud. Freaking streaming Canadian on Twitch. He plays this game every Tuesday night and he's always wrapping his rig around everything on the road. Just driving like an asshole and breaking his shit. It's friggin' hilarious. Ah, so we'll just cruise along here. Keeping her simple, keeping her sweet in the Ninja Turtle truck. I don't know why I'm such a big fan of this thing. 750 horse means nothing. I've seen people use the 400 horse uh, Scananias or Scananias, Scanias or whatever the hell they're called. I've seen people use those things and they never have problems. They're able to freaking haul just as much cargo as me. They're able to go just as fast as me. <coughs> so, I tried playing this game with the physics pack where you can uh, basically, uh, what the hell do I want to say here? Uh, makes the truck react more like a real truck, so the cab wobbles when you get in accidents and other things like that. And honestly, I didn't like it. It actually made the game a little bit more unstable. I found there's a lot of problems with it, so that's why I basically gave up on it and. I downloaded a couple other mods, tried them out, and there was a lot of conflicts with the game. So I just play it bone stock. Good enough for me. I'm always unlocking new shit. Oh shit, I gotta go straight. I'm always unlocking new shit for my trucks and things like that, so. That's ah, not too bad, not too bad. So you gotta friggin' love just cruising along on the highway doing a buck thirty. By buck thirty, I mean ninety. Hauling the shit out of things. So much better with a steering wheel, mind you, and a gas pedal, but um, ah, we'll get by. We'll figure it out. Guess it'd be a lot better if I had the uh, the pack thing that allowed me to go faster than 90, which is the physics pack, and you're able to go 120 kilometers an hour in your transport. But the problem is the engine gets so hot and so damaged so fast that it's almost not worth it. So I kind of don't like doing that because I kind of like my trucky. This is my favorite view of all right here because you can see everything outside. You don't have your truck obstructing it. And the only thing I don't like is you can't use your mouse to look around, but not a big deal. This view is kind of cool too, the top view. Don't 
Jesus, I have my signal light on. Looks like we're going straight, people. Looks like the turtle van is going straight. Kick on the lights, starting to get a little dark out. We're probably going to need some sleep time soon. Starting to get dark, and I don't know when the last time was that I slept. It's been a while since I fired up this game. The only reason why I fired it up is because there was a lot of requests for it, so... Figured we'd give her another go here and play for a couple more rounds. I like this game, it's fun. And you get to see some beautiful countryside and transports and... Holy shit. This car was trying to pass me, but... I should match speeds with this friggin' LKW. And we could own the road. So the only thing that sucks though is playing with the keyboard. The reason why it sucks is because you don't have that much control. You're like jerking the wheel around. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, that tells you how many kilometers you have left to go down there on the uh, steering, like right between the steering wheel there. It says 2,381 kilometers to go. It's going down slowly, but not fast enough. Well, we got plenty of gasoline, so we should, shouldn't should need to fuel up. I would crash out, but what time is it right now? Well, it's 9 o'clock at... Or yeah, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, according to my little thingamajigger down there. Oh, this isn't a sleep stop, is it? I want to get some gassing up, people. Might as well top up the tank. That was an expensive reload. Now, where's the sleeping area? Ah, it's right over here. Somewhere. So we'll sleep for a uh, couple hours, two o'clock in the morning. Don't know what's up with this awesome music. Not sure what the hell that music's all about, but um, maybe I'm doing something wrong or I'm running out of time or so. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure if we give her stink, we'll make it there on time. Looks like I'm getting off this highway. One thing I'm glad I did with this truck was install all those lights. Because frig sakes, does it ever make it easier to see at night? Hoping the audio is coming through good on this. I uh, kind of dicked around with some of my settings and things and I'm not a hundred percent sure if what I did frigged anything up so here's hoping here's friggin hoping
Alrighty, we locked in the cruise control. We're just gonna bomb away here. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure what's up with that friggin' happening techno music in the background. That's not one of my Arcane Fire and Ices, that's for sure. I have no idea what the hell music that is. Hopefully Buddy's not too butthurt that I took a nap. Probably is a little butt hurt, but you know what? You can get over it. That's what he does. That's what he does. So I've been playing some different games, as you guys can tell. I've been playing that costume quest and some uh oh my god i forgot the name of it why did i forget the name of it well stacking i was playing but that game just shit the bed it broke piece of shit kind of pisses me off pay good money for a game and you can't get past the park because it keeps crashing for us and of all the errors to give me stacking you know the freak kind of an error message is that Oh shit, stay on the road, Adam. Oh, nothing like a cigarette while you're driving along, eh? Start getting some piss jugs and just drilling them out the window at the cars and things. Hey, 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 hey Bob, this is the way of the road. Man, there's a lot of people hauling fuel on this highway. wonder if we're all going to the same place just to reload one gas tank. Well, we only have a couple hours left on this here drive. I'm going to want to be in that other lane. Yeah, I'm going to want to be over here. Because I have an off ramp to take soon. Freaking guy. He didn't even freaking get a job. Like, do I have to fire people? Because I will. I will totally fire the useless people and hire better people. That's what it takes to actually get them the assholes to start making some money. So yeah, um, basically before I was doing my videos, I would speed it up to three times the normal speed, and it would make the audio sound, uh, you know, a higher pitch and stuff like that. Well, a lot of people were complaining that they didn't like the audio like that, and they wanted to hear my regular voice over the games, and uh, not the higher pitched audio, so 
I've done you all a favor and I dropped the whole higher pitched audio thing, so hopefully you're happy. You know, it just means these videos are going to be a little bit longer and things, but uh, yeah, that's the way she goes, I guess. So I have an hour and 37, 36 minutes left on this drive. Oh, frig. Long ass drives are long ass, let me tell you. But sometimes the long ass drives are worth it. Especially if the payout is good. This is like a sixteen thousand dollar load I'm hauling here. So Ah shit. Stay on the road, Adam. Well, I need to stay straight. Straight and narrow. Still an hour and seven minutes away. Thank God for GPS technology. I'd be friggin' lost. Do, do, do. Skittle, do, do, do. Skittle, deedle, deedle, do, 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 do. Oh, these friggin' transport games, eh? Just haul and I wonder if there's any other really neat simulators out there that are kind of like this that'd be fun to play. Some people request that I try Flight Simulator, but uh, I don't have that one. There is the free Microsoft Flight, but everybody tells me that shit. And by everybody, I mean the people who have Flight Simulator X and said that the the new Flight uh, Microsoft Flight's garbage compared to Flight Sim X. So I don't know. I really don't know. I'd really like to know how far off I am to level 9, though. Because that'd be friggin' awesome. Hit level 9, then I can really torque out this truck. Well, not really, but... I don't know what made me choose this truck over any other one. Like, uh, JP from uh, Streaming Canadian, he's running the uh, Scanania, and I know a couple people who are running the man trucks, because now you're a man, do I want to get off here? Yes, I do. How's that for a near perfect run, eh? Not too shabby. At least I didn't frig up like I did in a lot of my other truck simulator videos. Yeah, look both ways before crossing the road, eh, people? Nope, not me. Yeah, this would be a lot easier if I had an actual gearbox and a clutch. Oh, we're almost there, though. I can see the marker on my GPS. Aw, oh, frig yeah. I have no idea if I'm late or if I'm early or... I have no idea about anything. Got Oreo behind me grunting and snarling away. So derpy. My dog's so derpy. Oh, it's around a boot. 
around the boot people this asshole just cutting in front of me what an asshole don't slam the brakes you fucking idiot I'll take the traffic violation or I won't all right on we have arrived I'm not even gonna try and park this and I'm late yeah I know uh, but that's still some good experience we are almost level 9 people frig yeah right on well thanks for watching this episode of Skaven Games tune in later on for some more of this friggin truck simulator and until next time people peace the frig out are you ready? You, you, are you